long thought of as uh, voodoo, one of the scariest things for some people to do is pack their own parachute. I actually know racers who didn't want to pull their parachute at the end because they were afraid to pack it between rounds. It's, it's, that's a true story. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to pack the parachute so you're not afraid of it. First thing we start with is the, uh, the cords have been separated by the factory. You see the tape here? The tape has been taped around, but if you notice, it's divided. Four is over here and four is over here. We're going to take our fingers and put them through like that like so, and we're going to pull everything back. This is going to spread your left from your right. When you get all the way out to here, you're going to decide which one is the top one, which is this one. Shake it out so we don't want any wrinkles or knots in anything. And you pull it taut like that. You notice Mark holds at the end, grab this one, pick it up, so that they're all in the same place. Take this whole assembly and you're going to walk to here. Mark, come on the other side, please. Okay, I like to um, pack a neat parachute. I don't like it to look like it's all jumbled up. I'm kind of fanatical about the way I like to fold things. Just pretend you're folding a shirt. Flatten everything out nicely. Fold it over. And you gotta remember, we're gonna wind up putting this in there. So that's essentially the size of the square that we can deal with. So my hand is about that wide. So I know that I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold everything like that. By doing this, you need to go back to your first one, which is right there. We're gonna roll all the cords into it. Now, you could do this alone, but this is where it really helps to have someone help you. We're going to take this whole pack and stick it inside of here. Mark's going to take his hand and hold it for me. When he holds it, I'm going to take and make everything neat looking. I'm just basically pushing the parachute in so that's still a nice square. Okay, I'm going to take my hand and roll the pilot chute cord around my hand, just in a circle, doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm going to put it over this. Now Mark's gonna take both hands and push the spring down. When he holds it in like this, I'm gonna take all this and jam it back in here. Keeping everything as neat as we can. And you notice how we have this little cord here. This is so that we can help tie it all together. Put it through the little loop here. It's gonna go like this. We're gonna go from the top down. And you'll hear a pop as you pull on it. Now it's like this, Mark's gonna put his thumb over that, holding it, making everything neat while we go. And I'm gonna go from the left to the right or basically away from me. I'm gonna go like this to that side. Okay, he holds it. And the last one I'm gonna do is from the right to the left or towards me, because that's usually the hardest one to pull. And then make it look nice. Now, then you take the cable from inside the car. The cable is attached to a lever. As I pull this lever at the end of the run, it pulls this little cable out of here and pops the chute. I'm going to push that through like this. See how it holds it? And then finally, when you go to pull this little nylon cord out, you pull it in the direction of the, uh, the little wire so that it doesn't pull the, uh, I should say, release the chute as you're done. And that's it. It's easy as that.